All right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Marina Moroz and JoJo Calderwood. Well, it sounds trite, but they say sometimes the best offense can be a good defense, and the cliche certainly applies here. She can stick and move with the best of them, and she's not afraid to hang in the pocket because she can do so without taking significant damage. She has frustrated some truly high-level opponents with her ability to stick and move and get her head off the center line. This girl is an outstanding striker. She definitely wants to keep this fight on the feet. She has very good takedown defense as well. Good hands, very good kicks, elbows, knees, and punches. A full arsenal of striking techniques. Well, this young woman has a great skill set, but certainly it's the striking defense that comes out when you watch the film. She'll use movement and defense to set up her own offensive angles, but she'll hang out in the pocket because she's so confident in her ability to stick and move and get her head off of that center line. Really as good a defender of strikes as we have in this women's division. This girl is one of the best in the business at holding fighters down, controlling them from the top position, and beating them up. She's so good at holding position and keeping fighters where she wants them to be. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. And now a busier opponent. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of eight wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting at a Boulder Gorse, Ukraine, Marina Iron Lady Moros. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? And we are underway. She blocks that off, that's Joe. Nice left, left kick to the body. Combination landed by JoJo Calderwood. Oh! Welcome to the jungle. She did a real nice job there avoiding the clinch. Doesn't want to be there. JoJo Calderwood gets caught with that punch. Lands a hard hook to the head. Well, she ate that straight punch to the head, and she's got to be careful here. She has shown a vulnerability by leaning right into her opponent's range. Got to find a way to get that head off the center line and do better defensively here. Nice punch by Calderwood. Well, she has really found her timing in this round, Joe. She blocked the punch. Calderwood gets caught with that punch. And she avoids the clinch yet again. They are trading huge punches here. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, she caught the kick. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. And there's that inside leg kick. Oh, hooked to the head by Marina Moroz. Good job of timing strikes here. That one hurt. Moroz able to land there. She is off to an excellent start here tonight. She checked that leg kick, Joe. Nice. Going to the body there with the right kick. Big shot lands to the left. She is hurt. Oh! These shots to the body have taken its toll. Oh, she blocks the punch. Nice. Calderwood's lower jaw could not look 
look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. One minute to go here in the opening round. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. together some significant body work here and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on exactly effective punch there by calderwood front kick to the face round two is next let's see some of the action here Excellent strike here, lands on target. There's a powerful kick to the body. Incredible highlights in that round. Ariane Celeste in the building. Like that, in this round, someone's getting knocked out. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. High kick. Oh, that's how you play it. She blocks the shot and nails the straight counter. Nice body work for her here, Joe. Calderwood gets in the clinch. That knee might have landed there. See the total strikes. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. Tying up in the clinch here, looking for openings. And now she's got the tie clinch. Well, she has landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is going to take strikes and bunches to get an opponent of this caliber out of there. Let's see where she goes from here. Connects there with the punch. Hand speed, man. How about that shin? Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, take down there by Calderwood. Full now. Calderwood's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Nice elbow to the body. Morose gets back up. Good sign for her there. Well, she ate the straight hand there, and she's got to be careful now, Joe. I know she wants to be aggressive and set up her own offense, but she left the head wide open for damage there. Nice punch by Calderwood. Morose's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. That knee might have landed there. Oh, vicious knee! Oh, big knee! This could be it right here. Oh! Oh, what a body shot. Clean overhand. Lands a nice one, too. The left hook hits home. 30 seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Calderwood. All right, that's the end of round number two. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. 
Very impressive striking going on in that round. The beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going. to go. Oh, she just continues to land a high ball. Whoa! This could be it. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. She blocks that offense, Joe. Big knee to the body. Oh, huge shot there, lands flush. Could be it right here. Oh, very nice. Spinning backfist. Really? Oh, oh, oh. This could be it. Big shots. Car jab. Vicious combinations. Big beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh, beautiful combination. Hard oh. hook. This could be it right here. Head kick. Big Vicious body shot. shot. Body. Snap off that jab. Morose's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the judges out of it. Really lighten her up now. Calderwood gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Wow, what a powerful leg kick that was. Oh, nice. Back and forth we go here. Oh, this could be it. Good defense there. Morose gets caught with that punch. Huge block for her, Joe. Oh! Oh! And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Well, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, Joe. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. Great angle here. Bam! And good night. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution. And that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. The official decision Ladies is and gentlemen, in. Referee Here's Eve Bing Bing has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. To play the winner by knockout, Marina, our lady, Marla. Well, there are a few greater highs in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon, but she took it a step further tonight. Massive knockout victory. No TKO here. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive high-profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the big KO tonight.